Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Deadly Premonition 2. One of the key two. ingredients to Cajun cuisine. Utterly wasted. Uh, I should have taken a couple of boxes home with me when I first came here. Last well, time uh, we found Avery's altar. What are these huge crab legs doing here? Or are they shrimp legs? Not that it matters. We need to find Patricia. Yeah, we gotta do. The holy tree. Somehow this lone box is completely undamaged. Is there divine power? I've had enough of those. Uh. The seeds lead this way. Yeah, I know, York. Aaliyah and Simon would never be able to reach the other world through the. That's why we need to. Yeah, we need to do it. Let's do it, right? He's got a strong grip. Strong enough to crush a steel door. This uh. must be the entrance to the Smarty Pants Scientist's lab. Uh. The Smarty Pants Scientist Lab. I too want to be the Scientist Smarty Pants Lab. Oh, wait, we gotta do more of this crap. Sad about this game. This is mundane. Like at the beginning of the game, I don't mind doing this. Now it's like, why do? Oh, you win. But it's not a challenge. Because I run out of items. Guess what? Oh, look, uh, here's another one. What? <laughs> oh, that hurt. I wasn't... And I... <laughs> Heck, I almost killed myself there. That would've been hilarious after I just caught trash from the game. Do you know how it works? I know I have a spot for that now. Kill the void lady. There's only three enemy types, like. <laughs> Why did I. No. Why did I. I didn't like get the trigger, but okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 
No. What? I'm not trying to be Debbie Downer at the game. I'm just kind of like disappointed. Like, I know the first game wasn't really that hard, but I still died a couple times. Okay, this looks like a. But I don't have any. I never bought a gym. I'm assuming this is it. So, let's get prepared. And then I'll get her like, to the medium ones and two large ones. Let's go! Let's kill Avery. At least that would make sense to me. There's no extra objective? Oh, that's Avery. The freak happened to you, buddy. Gosh, Sonrus did a number on you. Avery Smith. After all this time, I found my way back to you. Back to the truth about just how special Lise was to you. They mentioned you so many times. Mrs. Carpenter. Alexis. But I didn't catch on. I completely glossed over the monstrous karma you've accumulated. You met the goddess together with Professor R's red soul. And you obeyed them, just as the goddess ordered. But then, the goddess died. You lost everything, and you went out of control. So, Professor R decided to give you something special. Lisa's body. You didn't steal the body. She gave it to you, didn't she? Where's Patricia? Oh, he 
man. It's not too late for you, Avery. Turn yourself in. Stop now, and I'll even testify for you. Mm. Mm. I'm... That's right. It's not your fault. Not my fault! Yes. You were just being used. I was used? No! No one used me! I'm the guardian! I gotta protect the goddess! Whoa. Okay, you can't have her. Gonna crush your bones. Uh, that's what you're gonna get. No, you're okay. Meanie, I got it least, but you stole her. I didn't do nothing. Okay. Patricia's my new goddess! My new lease! You're weak! I'm strong! What? What? I'm your weak! Again? You will pay for this! Wait, what? Avery. So that's your new altar. Sorry, but that religion won't last much longer. Patricia's coming with me. I'm facing a kid? Oh! What is your gift? Those are 10-foot giants. What are you doing? Ow! Don't smash me. That hurts. Why is that his weak?
Don't smash me. Smash me. No, smash me. Okay. Where are you going? No. No, no, no. version about a 700. I had. I don't want to die. I, 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 That was easy. I didn't even get hurt. Okay, I did get hurt. Ooh, I'm faltering. He's not gonna make it, is he? Oh, I can't even do anything besides move forward. <sighs> Patricia. You've become such a beautiful young woman. <coughs> oh no. Just stand there and let you die. Never. Never. Well, you should have. But. But. You should have just let me die. Just like you did with all the others. You let them all die. Stop. Stop it. No. I won't. She's corrupted you by something. You built up such a towering mountain of corpses. No. Yes, you did. You're possessed by death. No, I'm not. I did it for the sake of justice. Is that why you let her die? For the sake of justice? You don't say it. Here. Please, whatever you do, just don't say her name. Emily Wyatt. No! Emily Wyatt. <laughs> oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I couldn't protect her. Yet I survived. I lived on to accomplish nothing. Damn it, York. Please. Just take me. Take me to the other side. <laughs> York? No. <laughs> it's me, Zach. You're freaking kidding Kaysen. me. Oh, don't give me that look, Zach. <laughs> I'm awful sorry I'm not York. But, 
I can still save you. I could even take you over to the other side, if that's what you really want. Come on, give me your hand, old buddy. I'll lead you to where you need to go. Just like a lighthouse that guides ships through the dark, abyssal night. I don't have a choice? Uh-uh. <laughs> what? You're freaking kidding me. What about Oh, welcome, Zack, to the Red World. You become such a fine monster. Oh, oh, oh. Lena and George can never hold a candle to you. They really disappointed me, you know? Especially Lena. <laughs> I can't believe she actually tried to outwit me. Right at the very end. See, my plan was to have Patricia die, then let Candy and Melvin survive. The goddess of fertility and her puppy, the Great King, working together to turn the entire South into the Red King. <laughs> Yet right at the last minute, who appeared but Yolk? That little rat. He saved Patricia. Then both the goddess of fertility and the great king died. That pathetic little journal she left behind made all my hard work go to waste. But Zack, I see now that you are well worth all the years of hard work I put into you. <laughs> the results are truly marvelous. What? So... Stop right there! Wait, what? Is that you, Morgan? <sighs> the muscle. Francis Zack Morgan, your story, your reasoning, I accept most of it. So just put your hands down and give it up. I'll take it from here. Yeah. Oh. Hey. She ain't half bad. She can't see this world, but she still managed to find her way here using nothing but her nose. She's like a genius pianist who can play Chopin without looking at any sheet music. <laughs> She's got potential. Isn't that right, Zack? Ooh, I just got a nugget of an idea. I know the perfect way to use her. I'm very much concerned. Inspection starts. In my way. Wait, I'm Zach. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Big What do I need? Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay. Not so good. 
in my way. Cold pillar. Crash. So many wastes. Wait, I didn't have to go to her immediately? But... Wait, she can see it. Oh. What? I'm so confused. Right now. Zach? Special Agent Zack? You came to save me, didn't you? Hey, Patricia. You've grown so much. Did you change your hair color? It looks great on you. Huh? I need to fight the giant shrimp that thing. That's what I want to do. Uh, uh, uh. Good. Good. Looks like I made it. <laughs> Zach! Trisha. I don't have much time left. I'm just glad I got to see how much you've grown <laughs> before it all ends. What are you saying? Don't be stupid. Don't worry. When I die, so will this tragedy. I always knew it would. He and I are two sides of the same coin. We've always been one in the same. If I disappear, so will he. You don't need to worry patricia you can be happy now no you're not allowed to do that the contract's still in effect here look at this was this all a big lie i promise to protect you from all the evil in our world you need to uphold the contract zach you saved my life you're the only reason i'm alive right now that one time when I wouldn't stop crying. Remember what you said? Our world is filled with pain. Evil, violence, betrayal, jealousy, lies. Unseen despair is always waiting for a chance to paralyze us. Sometimes you might feel like you'd be better off dead. But you can't give up. Never forget, your life is your own. Those words freed me from the chains of my destiny. If it weren't for you, I would have died a long time ago. Please, Zack, I still need this contract. Please keep protecting me. Morgan! Get away from her! Wait, you're misunderstanding. Get away before I count to oh. three! Or I'll shoot! Hi, Kason. No! Listen to me! Two! Three! No! Patricia! Huh? Huh? You can't 
be? Is this a miracle? Oh, God. York? I, I don't even know what to say. You've become quite the crybaby since I last saw you, Zack. Huh? They're both here? Hi there. Good to see you again, Patty. Who are you? FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, call me York. But- That's what everyone calls me. Agent York? You're with the FBI? Just like Zack? Yes, that's right. I'm Zack, and Zack is me. known about you two. Just what are you? We're your old friends, Patty. Now and forever. Huh? Can this make sense? Jason. Aim carefully, sister. I'm warning you. Aim carefully. <laughs> I'm warning you. <laughs> Aim carefully. Patricia Clarkson, I'm here to save you. No, you're not. Okay. We're changing the rules a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of that. Oh, freak. You know what would have been nice? Aim carefully, sister. I'm warning you. I mean, this is... The easy part of this fight is what you Free. Why can you fly? One, two, three. Free. Aim carefully, sister. I'm warning you. Mm -hmm. Why are you dancing? <laughs> <laughs> what? Resistance is futile. Your fate is sealed. What is this? Resistance is futile. Okay, so you're Your actually easy sealed. if I just play the game right. Death row, and it's time for your ex execution. 
Okay, stop it. <laughs> I win. Oh my power. Huh? I'm not sure how this mechanic works. Death is inevitable, Patricia. It descends upon us all equally. All life dies in the end, and no one can change that. But, but, we're finally together again! This isn't fair! Come on! Fulfill the contract! Sorry, but this is an extenuating circumstance. Then, sign a new one with me! This contract isn't valid anymore. Now, I'm going to protect you from all the evil in the world. And I plan on keeping my promise. So you're not allowed to die before I do. Go on. Sign the contract. Come on, sign it. Now! Are you sure you're prepared for everything that entails? You can only break the rules. Once. Oh my god, all the music in the first game is so amazing! Listen to me, Patricia. When Zack wakes up, I want you to tell him something. This is our final farewell. Thank you so much for all you've done. For all those years, you never forgot about me, did you? It's been so long since we've seen each other, but... I know you always kept me in your heart. That's what kept me alive. I owe it all to you, Zack. Thank you. And goodbye. sad tonight. <laughs> I'm feeling sad. <sighs> oh. He who fights with monsters should see to it that he himself does not become a monster. And if you gaze long into an abyss, the abyss also gazes into you.
That piano, though. Okay, what's going on at this point? Huh? Oh, if I lose his body to rest. Now that we actually can for once. Much blood was shed, and many precious lives were lost. Avery Smith was indicted on 11 charges, including kidnapping Patricia Clarkson, illegally disposing of Lise Clarkson's corpse, and distributing the illegal substance known as Saint Rouge. He's currently serving a term of 381 years at a state prison in Angola, Louisiana. His first possible scheduled review for parole could happen in 127 years at the earliest. Aaliyah Davis's assistance in solving the case was officially acknowledged, and she was transferred to the DCHQ. Thanks to Boston Chief Robert Abraham's support, she was officially allowed to join the Saint Rouge Investigative Task Force. Later, it was reported that her younger brother began to show small signs of recovery from his addiction. Simon Jones was finally freed from his mission to monitor a certain ex-agent and returned to the Boston branch. Good. He was given a brand new computer and put back on data analysis, but never worked another big case. That's what he wanted. Instead, he spends most of his time at the office doing Sudoku. <laughs> And so, after 14 long years, the curtain on this gruesome case was finally closed. Lucare still suffers from the aftermath of the plan set into motion by Professor R, a.k.a. Helena Doman. She was clearly smart enough to restore the Clarkson's empire on her own, yet she never tried to. The true reason behind her tragic downfall remains shrouded in mystery. A person's life can be greatly affected by the tiniest of anomalies, such as buttoning the wrong shirt button. Just like how this genius, who once inspired great expectations, went on to become infamous as one of the South's most inhuman criminals. And now, after a very long time, life is finally starting to return to Lucari. How did Danny not age? I have a lot of questions too. Oh. Alright, my favorite part of talking. How do I feel about this? So I have said this over and over again. Dogger Mission 1 is one of my favorite games of all time of just because how unique the quirkiness is. Did this come anywhere close to me? Not really. Was the story great, in my opinion? Yeah. The story is always good when it comes to these games. Warrior did a really good job with it. Gameplay was the game. Kinda sucked. I don't know if it was partial of my controller keep getting in and out or or was it a lot of just the mechanics weren't great. So I'm very happy that the team finally came out and I am happy that we actually finally did it. I wish I could have went back two years ago and actually played through it then and there. But I'm happy now that I finally got to do it. And the real question then is I don't know who Jake Johnson is. Um, is am I going to 100% the game when like I did the first one? And honestly, I still don't know the answer to that question. I've seen what 100 ing entails, and I'm really not interested. I know I've 100%ed a lot of games lately. Heck, Duke Nuke Forever is 100%ed. Yakuza was 100%ed. Or Yakuza Like a Dragon was 100%ed. Red Dead was 2 I can't remember the games before that, but. I think this one, I'm just gonna let it be. 
I know it is I kind of put on a hard mode basically not using any of the beads necklaces or voodoo magic but it really doesn't hurt my feelings that I didn't do that or use it because the game was easy like this is one of the easiest games I've ever played because what was that? I almost had one time ever and I was doing the final boss which makes perfect sense but back to back to back bosses nothing really mattered like I really wanted to face the Zack monster that was the one thing I was really hoping for and then the game's like nah you gotta beat Aaliyah with force Casey which I swore force died in the first one now I don't remember and that's bothering me I I don't want to go back and play the first one now. So, ultimately, I do I did enjoy the game. It's... I would probably say, like, the first game like, to me is a 10. Just because of how amazing, how much fun I had with it, the quirking is the last and all that. This one, I'd probably say 6 or 7. The first game had difficulty, this one did not. The second one had more incentives to do side missions. Yes, I did beat the first one, the first time playing it with only just the pistol. But, doing the side quest rewards so much more. This, it doesn't look like there's another one but the pistol. And you probably upgrade the pistol, which wouldn't be that fine. Because it really wasn't that hard of a game. Then again, this one didn't have a difficulty saying what the first one did. I, I, that's what sucks. I'm comparing this one to a lot of the first one, and it kind of has to be compared. Like, it's like the, when we did both Red Deads. Red Dead 2 is overall probably a better game, and I will probably easily admit that the first one's probably my favorite still, but the second one. Huh? This is not Sublime. This has no reggae ska punk at all. But... I don't see a third one ever being made. If there was a third one, it may go after Aaliyah's story afterwards. Or maybe a prequel again, go to Tracing Professor or Lena Dunham or whatnot. That would make the most sense to me. Um, I kind of want to know what happened to Zack. Because it's just kind of weird that we talked about it once and then completely disappeared. There's a lot of people that work on this game. That, that makes me happy. And Swear is a really good director. He's a really good story writer. But I keep forgetting the game's also kind of blessing in disguise. And I still haven't seen the blessing in disguise yet. So is there anything else? It doesn't... Oh, wait. I stole this from Professor R's lab. <laughs> I figured you would. I've read through it dozens of times, but it still doesn't make sense to me. I mean, at some point, her plan started to collapse, right? Otherwise, I probably would have been killed early on. But here I am, alive and breathing. And the stalker who harassed me for years has been arrested, too. Not only that, but now I have a brand new life waiting for me as heir to the Clarkson Empire. Both Lucare and the Clarkson's Industries are finally showing signs of recovering. It's just uh, hard for me to believe that this all went according to her plan. Yes, I understand how you feel. No matter how you look at it, things couldn't possibly have ended up perfectly in accordance with her plan. How can you be sure of that? You earned a new life for yourself through the effort you put into it. It definitely wasn't something that Lena gave to you. You made this life possible. You didn't do it all on your own, of course. You were only able to come this far thanks to everyone who supported you along the way. Could anyone really believe that Lena was the one who orchestrated all this? There's no way. I'm positive. 
All the people you've met thus far, and all the things you've experienced, created the person you are now. Lena's just one of those people, and nothing more. You really think so? Still, York and I both fell for that message of hers. Maybe her plan really is still moving forward after all. Stop joking around. I'm seriously huh? concerned about this. <laughs> Sorry, Patty. <laughs> 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 what am I going to do with you, Zach? <laughs> By the way, did you change your hair color back in order to signify some important decision you made? <sighs> yeah, I guess I did. After losing everything, I finally found my true self. So I've decided to accept everything that comes to me from this point on. I think that color looks great on you. Really? Thanks, Zach. <laughs> I'll never give up. I'm determined to overcome my cursed blood, whatever it takes. And you will. That's why York chose you to be his assistant, you know. He always knew you had it in you. Wow. He really thought that highly of me? Suddenly I feel really motivated now. This is crazy. I don't even know what I should get started with first. Now that's the Patricia Clarkson I know. Oh, I got it. I want to go and get one of Alexis's chocolate sundaes. Of course. Not a bad idea. They are to die for. Yeah, they're like the deadly premonition of ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> well, so long, Zach. I'll come visit you next summer. Louisiana summers are just too hot for me to handle. You're always welcome here. Bye now. Is he texting with York? Ah! Amityville, Crystal Lake. Tell oh. Okay. There's Will with the Dalmatian. So he's fine? Feels like today is going to be another wonderful day. Now, time for some coffee. No matter what the plan is, coffee should always come first. Isn't that right, Emily? Huh? You actually said her name? Way Mrs. Carpenter still love it for 14 years. What? Now I'm really confused. So is that really it this time for real? Green grass and red seeds. S rank. Wow, that was an ending. So, oh, that's cool. That is cool how you have. Um, my next question is, I don't know, you can't really see my dashboard, but there, I only got a quarter of the achievements playing the game. I wonder what's left. Defeat ten rare colored creatures, become the gator. So die by the ga a gator. Clean five times. A VIP menu is you gotta get sunburnt, knock down a thousand pins. Why would I do that? Camp outside while drunk? 
Tell us, he'll fast ass out. The Lord Hunger is the achievement's name. You know what? Second album from Lewis. There's a four. Acquire every achievement. Collect 400 stamps. That's not gonna happen. I have no interest in that. Now, the next question is Is the hidden achievements? Because I don't know. Is it not telling me which ones there are hidden? Because that's what I'm. Oh, is it defeat the bosses at full health? Yeah. Defeat. Wait, couldn't you just. Heal? Wow, I kind of breezed through this. Uh, next time on. Well, back to the game. Not really, not so, not so much Daily Permission 2, because I think we're done here. I didn't get this far, because I didn't expect to beat this game so soon. So, it said it took me about 16 hours, so you're going to get 20, 30 episodes out of this. Because I've only uploaded, like, episode 10 at this point, to be honest with you. Like, I played through this fast, because I wanted to. Um... Check out Andy Factory Music, because we have music coming out for that. I'm going to bring some friends along for that. But then again, that's probably a month or two in the past now at this point. Yeah, I don't know what's next. I'll see you then, though.